welcome to my channel. Welcome to a very different little unpacking here. Just trying to find my scissors. Um, this is the Vervico Lanart Secret Stitch Along. And this is the first time I've actually got the kit. So no idea what's involved in this. Hopefully I'm not going through anything other than some bubble wrap around the kit. Now you can only buy these in kits and that is part of my hesitation. They did a gorgeous Christmas gnome collection last end of last year and before that there was cranes. All right now before I go there while I take this out of the bag uh, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please click subscribe, ring the bell for the notification as to when I upload. And um, yes, see what goodies I get to unpack and everything else. So, all right, bubble wrap. I'll give this to the child. Because I love bubbles in the way. Bubbles are my favorite. All right, so this has come from JM Embroideries. JM Embroideries are one of the stockists in Australia. I think the only stockist in Australia, actually. Um, they do have worldwide stockists. And if you want more information, join up to Secret Stitch Long. There you go. Secret Stitch Long. I think there's a hyphen. Vervico Lanart. Okay. Uh, the art of stitching. Now, if you're not already familiar with Lan Art and Vervico, they do kits and they do packs a bit like Dimensions. They don't give you the DMC numbers, which is a little bit frustrating. So you can get these gorgeous patterns and you have to color match yourself. Um, but oh my God, they are amazing. Now, this pattern now, the 2022, one of 2022, is a margoline baston kit okay so that's about all you know so if you want to check out margoline baston which is what i did go and check out her art if you like her stuff you will potentially like this kit what we get in the secret stitch along is basically a teaser of the kit that's coming in i don't know however many months time they're not cheap um even converting if i had bought a europe one i don't think it would have been any cheaper now uh some of the instructions i'm still getting my head around and i've just found what it means by the two of six and one of six it's a single strand and a double strand so there you go uh what it says is in this um it says it's the secret stitch along cross stitch collection 22 slash one the size is 32 by 48 centimeters or 12.8 by 9.2 inches. All right. The contents in here is the fabric, 27 count even weave because of the uh, fractional stitches in this. I chose that. Uh, 10 threads per centimeter, so it's 27 count. Yarn is 100% cotton and the needle and chart are also in this. I don't know who the... So it's, uh, so hang on, hang on, Virak, Virak Turk, Virak Turk, Lanart, anyway, Virak Turk, dot B, it's Belgian. Um, there's a lot of international people within the group, so if you want to check out what's in one of these kits, then check it out. Follow the thread to a new Lanart, the art of stitching project. So there is a very pretty picture. <laughs> Like it, now this is the floss <laughs> so that's so the color funny. scheme we have had the first four releases and now i've got my kit all right so i was a bit slow because i wanted to see how it was first going to come about all right so what you get is a part number and it's got 206 and 207 on there so you know which is which and then it's numbered 1 to 20, 21 to 40. Now, personally, I hate floss drops like this. 
at least this is sorted when you get a dimensions kit they're not and the threads themselves I was gonna say are not long they're not they are pretty much double that so what I would do is take two of these rather than doing a loop start I think then again the parts that you do on each section are around about a thousand stitches on each part so far that I've looked at and you could get away with um, just doing it in um, single drops and doing the loop start so they're a little bit uneven on there and that's another thing that I hate about this kind of format is they get uneven at the bottom and chasing your short tail and all of that kind of thing can just be a little bit of a pain they can come out trying to keep track of them like that is just not my thing not my thing if it's your thing then go for it okay so fabric wise in a bag and there is a needle in here and it's marked with a line as well so it's nicely presented um and yeah i'm a little bit scared um expense wise they're certainly making their money on selling these as kits because look this is shaggle excuse my french there's 36 colors here um of the 36 colors is it a short one is uh, anyway where are you i can't see the short bag anyway there it is of the 36 colors so 36 skeins in australia it's a dollar 50 a skein um, I get it for 99 from where from itchy stitchy where I buy it from you're still looking at 36 potentially 36 dollars okay now I could color match these I mean these purples are reasonably easy to color match some of the others get a bit more far-fetched it's a lot of effort to go to to color match what you're looking for especially when you don't have colors next to you to be able to match so getting it as a kit not necessarily bad and you're getting the fabric as well yeah i think you're potentially getting your value is worth the pattern however oh my it is sublime okay now secret stitch along how does it work if you're not used to these then stick around okay starting a kit without knowing what the end result will be and we didn't know what the storks were going to be can you settle please um no idea what the storks were going to be we saw these weird blue plumes before it turned into being a bird and it was like no i i don't know what kind of creature is it you knew it was a creature but you didn't know what kind of creature and as it emerged that it was going to be a bird it was just like these feathers and it was just fantastic so go and check out the facebook group um for that there's no issue with joining the facebook group and you sign up on your email to get the patterns and the releases are also in the group as well all right so starting a kit without knowing what the end result will be from previous successes we know many people just love it the kit comes with all the quality components you used to from a lan art but without the picture at the end result or the instructions to make it you get them as you go in order to participate you register on facebook or on the website starting from february 4 so we're a month and a half into it once registered the fun starts towards the start of October and will last for three and a half months. You get to stitch a beautiful kit that will only be launched to the public in summer 2022, Europe summer. As from March 4th, you receive weekly drops over a period of 16 weeks. So they're all manageable of a weekend if you've got time to do a thousand odd stitches each weekend. So don't feel like you get left behind this pressure or anything else so some people still finishing previous years uh you also get access to our secret secret stitch along group which all the information will be shared questions asked amongst each other let the fun begin and make sure you're part of the success so it's a belgian company if you're not already familiar with them the choices are this is gorgeous the choices are the 27 count even weave or 14 count ada you can use whatever fabric you really choose this is a full coverage piece from memory they're not surged mm -hmm. that is one of the downsides um 
Oh, it's a little bit smelly. And that's huge. Oh my god. And I think it's that orientation. Ooh. It is actually made, I suppose, to fit the piece that you're actually stitching. So I don't know how much more there is to go. It has started in the center. So again, you need to know how to do your center, whether or not you grid, it's all up to you. Um, with these edge pieces though, you could basically just peel them, get it to a straight edge. Some people were quite unhappy with the cut of the last lot, how the material wasn't cut straight at all and they ended up with it miles wonky this one looks fine so i would tear off these straggly bits um you know these these bits and then you just end up it's not really going to run then much more and these are probably going to stop at the very edge and not unblock sophie i'm gonna slap you because that's just rude okay mm. Um, so they will just sit like that without too much issue. Now there's one more that I'm going to get rid of. All right. Um, so that's that edge. And then these are a little bit on the sloppy side. Again, they, these bits just pop off. Sorry, I'm used to doing this with my sister because she was a dress designer. So you just pull and slide. Um, and yeah, keep, you can keep going. You know you've got a square edge then as well there's maybe three more three there's another tail we like that roll mommy see and there i think is that's the last one so a little bit of wonky and it doesn't matter if it is actually wonky because when you stretch it and frame it you'll stretch it into shape so that's pretty much good to go and as I say, there's a needle there. All I need to do is put it into my pack. There's a little bit of card for some structure. Put it into my pack. There is my needle. Keep that with it. And yeah, I'm ready. Let's get stitching. So that's how it comes. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not unimpressed. It's a very simple presentation and to be honest dimensions they are even more I suppose simple they don't come in a pretty box um, you've got a presentation box here that would hang in the store um, so uh, yeah I, I kind of like that I mean you don't need that bit of plastic once you've got it I wouldn't keep it in this box just because um, it's going to be messy and what I might I might do is either plait or make um, a loop into the holder. If you plait it, you can still pull out your single strands. So what I mean by that is doing this. So let's get one of these. Okay. Just pick one of the end colors. Yes. Yeah, so this is number twenty. Okay get everything else just out of the way so there is one color okay you just need to divide it into three I'm not gonna do it too tight up at the top and I'm gonna cough what's that mean and okay so into three most of you will know how to plait. It doesn't have to be um, overly tight. If you don't know how to plait, watch a YouTube video. It's yeah. left over, right, left over center, right over center, and keep going. Please stop pulling it, Sophie. I'm doing some work. All right, keep going all the way down. It will take a little bit of time. Look, people bobbinate and they spend hours bobbinating. I'd be quite happy to sit on the couch with this and just plait it. You don't need to tie it off at the end. Mummy, I can't do twisting, Mummy. No, it's okay. I'll teach you some other time. Thank you. I do like that more, right, Mummy. It's still going. 
I'm nearly there. I've got about three inches left. Two. Get it down to about the last inch and then smooth it down. Okay. Smooth it down. That's now plotted. Now, the likelihood of that tangling into the rest of this mess is a lot less. Okay. And what you do to pull a strand out from there, you get your needle, which I'm not going to do right now. Oh, come on, get around the corner. It's just the way I took it around the corner. You get your needle, stop it into a single strand and you just loosen it out and you just slide. And then you get another one because as I said, um, I would use two of these lengths because I find this length is actually too short. Um, then I would get a second strand, run them alongside each other. Don't do the loop start, do a kind of waist, waist, waist knot kind of tail start. Or if I've got other stitches already laid, I'll actually run the tail under those stitches. So that is a really, really good way to kit this up and you get rid of all these. No, that, that was a thread from the fabric. But that's a really handy way of threading that up. Pop it in a project bag. I've got a few knocking around and um, yeah, good to go. And I'm mobile with my kit, can go. And then of course, I've got the pattern on Pattern Keeper. There are Pattern Keeper kits. They are Pattern Keeper compatible and they do work a real treat. And Sophie, stop. Hello. Um, just getting my rubbishy threads out of the way. Um, yes, you can use it on Pattern Keeper and follow along, mark it off. The only thing Pattern Keeper doesn't have is the back stitching. I then go into the PDF to get the back stitching and finish that off. And I would back stitch as I go with this kind of kit as well, rather than leaving it all to the end, because who the hell wants to do back stitching all at the end? I'd rather do it as I go. All right, there you go. A Lano Art kit. Would I recommend them? Yeah, I probably would. Even though they are expensive, I think I would recommend them. And if you like the artist, when they give you the sneak peek teasers of who the artist might be, then yeah. Now, Marjolaine Baston does florals and she Yay! does cutesy bunnies and squirrels and stuff. A little bit like um, Durian oh. Jones, that kind of lots of backstitching to make the features pop and that kind of thing. So I liked her style and I kind of trusted when I went back and I had looked at Lanart for a little bit that it was going to be okay. So I went with it, took a gamble. I'm not disappointed. I did see a floss drop, the, the colours beforehand. So I kind of thought it was going to be into the floral rather than bunnies. A um, little bit disappointed it's not bunnies, to be honest, because Sophie's a bit of a bunny freak. And um, yeah. It's a gamble. I would love to get the gnomes kit. I don't know how much the gnomes kit will be. It's probably going to be the exact same. Um, but that comes with the pattern as well. So I don't know if the price would be even more. Um, these are tester kits, I suppose. Um, we get to test stitch for the kits. And um, yeah, if there's any issues, people have got extra threads sent out to them. Not a problem. I don't know that many have actually run out of a thread. Maybe they were using the wrong thread in the first place. I don't know. But this plaiting method will stop them sliding out from those little um, bins where they're numbered. Um, so yeah, that will be one way of protecting them from flying out. All right, I'm gonna go with Ms. Diva and send her packing so I can do one more video and I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget, subscribe, ring the bell, get the notification when I upload next, and I will see you around on the tubes. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face, and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.